jungle. Hi everyone, I'm Fiona. In today's video, I will walk you through the whole testing process of the EPS batch pre-expanding machine before we export to Europe. This is our 1100 type EPS batch pre-expanding machine suitable for both EPS packaging products and EPS insulation block products. During the test, we will connect the steam and compress air and also pull the EPS raw material into the hopper. The target of EPS expanded density for this trial was 11 kg per cubic meter. Let's see what will happen. Actually, the purpose of testing is not to get the accurate density. The testing is to ensure that the machine is well programmed as designed and also all the valves are working correct before it leaves the factory so that our customer can quickly assemble and run the machine with our label system after they receive it. The main mixing motor of the pre-expanding machine has an adjustable speed function which allow a slow rotation at the beginning of the heating process. A normal rotation during the heating process and a fast rotation at the end of the heating process when the raw material is discharged. This allowed the EPS bin to be expanded more evenly. Now, let's use the measure cup to measure the EPS bin from bed dry to weight the density and gently whip the flat by hand. Through the density will be slight change after the aging silo, but it doesn't matter. Later when the operator gain more experience, it can slight change the setting parameter to achieve the final density. What's more feature? Siemens system, vibration sensor, steam and compressor air with propulsion valve. Steam and compressor air use Germany Burgate valve. Vacuum feeding. This is pretty much everything I want to show you in this video. For more information about EPS machine and EPS mode, please contact with us by email or leave your comments below. We will be happy to answer your question. If you like this video, please do not forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next video.